from the conscious point of view, space time isn't fundamental. It's just a VR headset. The brain is giving us some clues about how the headset is being generated. There's some deeper reality. It's up to each of us to take off our own headset. Dr. Donald Hoffman is a cognitive science professor from MIT. He has spent his career exploring how we perceive reality and trick ourselves into believing this is all there is when in fact there is a lot more and we know that it's there. We're at this interesting intersection where high energy theoretical physics is now saying that there's something beyond space time and what is it? The hardest thing that many lay people have to decide is do I believe in science or do I believe in God? Is there a place where those two things literally meet? The technologies that we should eventually evolve are gonna be mind boggling. Once you know how to program the headset, you make the laws of the headset and you can change them. Could this technology allow me to download a language? Could it allow me to regrow a limb? In the Matrix, right, Neo all of a sudden downloads something and I know uh, Kung Fu. I'm not saying I know how to do it. I'm saying I don't see a principled obstruction. Ultimately, who are you? You are the infinite consciousness looking through a very, very small headset. You've chosen to go from infinity to just a few trillion experiences, but you are that infinite consciousness. I love when people accidentally prove God. But is there a risk with unlocking this capability? Absolutely. Once you have that kind of power, you're playing God.